Duncan, it was um, a little bit of a struggle to kind of generate shots around the rim tonight. Um, was that because of the turnovers that kind of limited field goal attempts, or you know, was their you know they're switching a factor and kind of flatten you guys out a little bit? Uh, I think it was a combination of things. Uh, I don't think it was one thing in particular. I uh, definitely give them them some credit, um, but at the same time, you know, I think we could have definitely been tighter with the ball um, and just executed better, spacing kind of a little bit better. Um, you know, it's a combination of things. Duncan, the one thing you guys were very good about the start of the season is saying not to get too high, and there's still room for growth. You know, and that it's a long season. Do you sort of take the same approach after a game like this? I don't want to say throw it away. But sort of on the other hand, look at it. Okay, still six and two, still a lot of good things. Learn from this, move forward. Sort of what's the, the thought process after a game like this that this lopsided the other way? Yeah, I mean, I think anytime you get kind of punched in the mouth like that, um, you know, you got to learn from that. You know, great teams obviously learn from from their wins as well, and I think we took a lot away from wins. But I think you you're, you know you're forced to learn a lot from losing as well. So um, yeah, we'll definitely take away a lot from this one. It, I know it's a loss, obviously, but is it a positive that the defense still played well, even with the struggles offensively? Um, that you know, most games that defensive performance is enough to probably win. Yeah, I mean, I think that there are some positives to take away for sure. Um, you know, we had stretches where we played good basketball, did some good things, that we showed some fight. Obviously, we weren't able to kind of get over the hill back into the game fully, but. Uh, you know, I, I thought we had stretches where we defended well. Obviously, the offense um, struggled. Hey, Dunk. Um, I know they've changed some of the movement rules and some of the non-basketball stuff. I, I get all that. But we're seeing a lot of games in the 90s, more than certainly in, in your time in the league, more than in, in a lot of years. What are you seeing out there that's different about flow, about pace? Because it can't just be all the non-basketball stuff. Is Is it really... Is the pendulum really swinging back toward defenses in this league right now? Um, you know, I think it's I, it does feel very physical. Um, I'm not saying that's necessarily a bad thing. Um, you know, I, I'm not exactly sure of, of the details of, of what the referees are told, um, but yeah, I mean, I, I think those. It's so Sorry, it's just it's it's more than that. It's I mean the exaggerated stuff at the rim. That's that's, that doesn't add up to scores in the 70s and 80s a lot. Right, right. Yeah, I, I see, you know, similar to my answer, that I don't think it's necessarily one thing. Um, I'd, I'd have to probably you know, take a couple steps back to, to really take a look at it. You know, when you're kind of in, entrenched in the day to day of it, you know, that's not really something that, that we've really talked about. Um, you know, what we have talked about is, you know, defensively, uh, you know, just being super solid and, and kind of using that added physicality that you can bring to our advantage. All right, Duncan, thank you. Yeah, thank you.